I'm Alan Stevenson, and this is a quick introduction to Grammarly. So Grammarly works like the Hemingway app. Um, this is a website that allows you to copy and paste whatever you're, you're good writing your essay into this and evaluate it on readability and the number of sentences, whether they're easy to read or hard to read. Now, Grammarly does all of this built in. Now, if you're a Microsoft um, through and through user, you might want to install Microsoft Editor who does some, does some of the same features as Grammarly, but it is still in relative beta. Now, I have both installed and I switch back and forth, but Grammarly is the one that I tend to use the most often. It's available through the Microsoft extensions and also on the Chrome Web Store if you prefer to go that route. I would install Grammarly, which is again available on the Microsoft extensions. Just type in Grammarly for Microsoft Edge into your any search browser and it should take you there. Hopefully you'll be in the Edge browser. And this is the Grammarly page. Now, how do you get here? It's relatively simple. You just simply click on the green Grammarly icon up here and click New Document. Now this is a really useful tool that allows you to start drafting a document and then you can copy and paste it or download it. A number of different functions are available to you. You can upload a document to test whether this is a expert knowledgeable piece, whether you are clear in your expression of what you're trying to do. So here is a one that I've already set up and as you can see, it says the word choice and it's a hard to read text. So if I want to change that, it's going to ask me to go premium. And those are paid services. And that's where Grammarly makes its money. Um, the free service is perfectly valid and it just highlights those. And then you can make the effort to put in that little bit extra work. Now, complex lines, if I change that, it will see that there is an error that's come up there and that there is something I might want to investigate. Again, it's found some additional errors in place. Now, it can also be built into your Gmail. So if I go back to my Gmail account here, you can see I have Bitmoji, I have um, Loom recording, but over here I have the tone and I also have the Grammarly extension and I can switch Grammarly off. If I extend it out, it brings me to this. It's a nice, simple, easy format in which I can check it's correct. Clarity, it's very engaging. The delivery is just right. And that's because I'm going for a general neutral tone. Okay, and I can reset those at my leisure. So it's a really useful tool for you to use with your Gmail account, whether you're browsing the internet or you're creating a document or you want to upload a document to this service. I have a Hemingway app, which is completely free, or Grammarly, which is built into your Edge because you have it there as the extension that you can use. So I hope you found that useful and you guys write better than you've ever done before.